and welcome to Be Bold Branding. I'm Tanya Eberhardt, founder of Brandface, where we help business stars differentiate themselves, and we do that through personal branding. Hi, folks. I'm Michael Carr. I'm the COO of Brandface. I was a client before I became a full partner in the company, and we are the only comprehensive personal brand building system across the globe. Thank you for joining us today. Guys, we have this beautiful guest here with us today and it is her second appearance on our podcast and we brought her back for a very good reason she is a genius when it comes to social media she is a social media strategist expert speaker and owner of behind your curtain her name is karen liz albert and she has developed the popular 30-day social media facelift program that has to date helped over 350 professionals create and maintain a high quality and consistent online presence, that has led to over $20 million in sales. Those are some pretty big numbers. Okay, so so today, uh, Karen's gonna talk with us about something that I think is gonna really interest you guys, and it's the top 10 ways that you can stay relevant and top of mind using social media right now. So welcome, Karen. Thank you for having me back. I'm always excited to be in your uh, company. And, you know, I think that we are um, all so passionate about helping real estate professionals to really just exceed and excel and be so successful about what they're passionate about doing. Um, And, you know, I've just put together some information that I think can uh, be very helpful for real estate professionals in sort of today's economic climate and the pandemic that we're dealing with. Um, and, you know, it's it's not the old traditional way of doing business right now. I mean, nothing is, right? So I think it's really just kind of looking at ways that real estate professionals can still be very visible and very top of mind and still add value to their community um, through the use of the internet and social media and all of these tools that we have access to. I mean, it's, um, it's quite an unprecedented time in terms of the obvious, right? that we're dealing with. But in addition to that, the amount of individuals that are on social media, Facebook has never experienced the amount of volume that is experiencing right now with the surgeons of people that have been, you know, demanded to stay at home. And so uh, Facebook itself is having to actually monitor the size of videos that it can hold, the picture graphic images, the number of people that can go live. I mean, we're probably not experiencing it to the extent that they are, but it's definitely unprecedented. But if you take that into consideration, is this not an incredible opportunity to know that you have all of these eyeballs <laughs> that are captivated by social media because they have nothing really better to do? So what a wonderful time and opportunity to utilize these tools to really continue to stay top of mind and visible. And uh, so I kind of put together this top 10 list of things that real estate professionals can do to stay more visible and top of mind during this time. And so a lot of it is really looking at what is it that is going to be of high demand right now in your particular community. And so one of the things that you can do is you could actually search online for what are people searching for in your community. And there's a really fantastic tool. One of the tools that I use all the time is called Keywords Everywhere. And that's a plug-in tool. You can put it right onto your browser and it's gone from free to paid, but it's like nothing. It's like, you know, maybe a penny per search if that, Uh, but if you plug that in, it gives you the opportunity to really search for what are the key words that people are searching for today and really eliminates that guesswork of what is it that I should be talking about? Well, let's just flip that and start talking about what is that a highest demand, right? What are people really having an interest in and that? Um, and then another thing that you can do when you figure out what it is that people are talking about is then think about writing information about that. And again, it doesn't mean that you have to be just talking about real estate all the time and you don't even have to be the one that might want to be that has to be the one writing the information or writing the article. So I think right now we want to sit in a place of education and information and not so much, like I was saying, that place of let's see how we can pitch or sell. Um, And so you can go on to, there's a 
like Fiverr. You guys are probably familiar with Fiverr. Oh, yeah. That's an incredible tool, right? You can go on there and find somebody that's a blog article writer and give them some of the keywords and say, can you write an article about this information? And then you can use that. Um, there's lots of resources out there that can help you kind of become someone that can educate and inform right now. And it really is stuff that information that is just going to help people become less fearful about what's going on. Um, another great thing to think about is maybe what are your kind of hobbies that you like to do outside of real estate. So if you like to bake, maybe you want to start doing some videos about what you're baking. If you know that a lot of your niche market that you tend to work with when things are normal are maybe uh, the first time home buyers. And so they've got those little kids, right? So maybe you wanna think about what are they searching for, how to keep my kids entertained when they're staying at home and doing some videos about that or writing blog articles about that. And so really just kind of staying in, in alignment with that whole educate and inform. Um, another great tool that I use to kind of brand my videos is um, it's called uh, Animoto. And so that's one that you can just upload your videos and you can put some uh, branding on it as well. Um, there's another great tool that literally just came out last week that is a free tool that YouTube is releasing now where small businesses can actually create their own um, videos and like little mini commercials and stuff. So you can actually search for that on YouTube. You have to fill out the form and request to uh, have that functionality turned on. Is that but kind of like Spark, Karen? It is kind of, except that they have um, a lot more, what I consider to be high quality templates that you can just pull from, plug and play. They've taken like some top commercial rated level content and made that available and free now for business owners. So I love that we're seeing a lot of these businesses come from that place of contribution right now. I think that they were planning on only rolling that out to people that were considered of high influencers and those high subscription type um, channels. But I love that they're basically just like, you know, let's just give it to everybody right now in this sort of current economic um, climate um, and then another uh, thing that is also really helpful is if you do start to get a sense of what could I be providing content or creating content about right now that is going to get the attention of my community is, um, is, is looking at scheduling it out. So maybe we might get a little overwhelmed, like can I post every single day? So Facebook actually has something that's called a Facebook Creator Studio. And it's almost like a separate tool now that you can use to queue up all of your content. And the thing that I love also is that just within these past couple of months that Facebook rolled out the ability to actually schedule all of your Instagram posts through Facebook Creator Studio as well. So you could work on both of those platforms. So, you know, again, let's go back to like, what is the demand of the community? What did they have the interest in? Educate and inform through blog articles and videos. Videos are just so huge right now. And then think about using some tools that you can like brand those videos, right? And then let's get into the creator studio and let's just queue those up and think about some fun things also that you might want to do. Um, like, you know, consider some things that are going to be funny on the lighter side as well, because we all need to be a little bit lighter <laughs> right now. Levity. Right. I've seen such, such creative things come out of this, the, the whole quarantine pandemic, uh, those like that the parodies that have been done um, is as uh, is just I love that how creative that is. And so if you're a creative person, you know, maybe start thinking about doing those kinds of things as well. Uh, but, you know, again, kind of thinking from that educate and inform. Another thing that's incredibly popular right now is doing Zoom and uh, Facebook Lives. And so 
a lot of people will reach out to me and they'll say, well, I usually do Facebook lives talking about, well, hey, I'm at a home or an open house or, you know, I'm doing real estate. But now is a time to be considering doing Facebook lives where maybe you're pulling in other people from your community and doing, you know, an interview with them and kind of, it could be um, other businesses in your community. How can they get out and speak to what they're in need of? You know, we've got the restaurants in our local backyard that are challenged so much right now to stay alive and stay in business. And Facebook Lives are such a, an incredible way to get your message out in front of such a large audience. And again, it's an audience that is captivated because they have nowhere else to go right now, right? And then um, another functionality that Facebook rolled out within the past year that's huge for video repurposing the video are watch parties. So I don't know if you guys have been on and you've done oh, your yeah. watch parties yourself. Those oh. are becoming so incredibly popular. And so maybe you look back at videos that you've done in the past that you want to just bring back to life again and go into the, go into your Facebook uh, business page, click on watch party, pick some videos that you wanna watch and start a party. And the nice thing is, is Facebook will send that blast out just like as if you're going live and you can invite all kinds of people to, to watch that party. So it gives you an opportunity to bring kind of like a, a resurgence to some videos that you might've done in the past that might you know be something that could add value as well uh, today. So. So far, we've kind of talked about finding out what the consumer's interests and demands are, and then coming from a place of education and information with producing blogs and videos and maybe looking at queuing those up through social media posts and then maybe using like Facebook Lives and watch parties. And then the other part that um, we want to be thinking about, which I kind of touched on a little bit, is um, nurturing, like nonstop nurturing of other businesses in our community. And one of the really powerful ways of being able to do this through Facebook, for example, as your business is uh, utilizing your Facebook business pages feed. So you've got the opportunity to look at posts from your Facebook friends, but you also have an opportunity to look at posts just from other Facebook business pages that your business page has liked. So think about the strategy there is, what are the businesses in your geographical backyard? Because as real estate agents, we need to be very, very sensitive to who is in our backyard, right? That's all that's like the pocket right there. And so you want to search for businesses that are on Facebook that are right in your geographical backyard, like those business pages as your business page. And then right on your business page, you'll have a link on your page that is called pages feed. That'll allow you then to go in and look at just the posts from all of those business pages that your business page has liked. So then you'll start to see what it is that they're posting, right? Their relevant content. So if it's restaurants, if it's anything in your neighborhood, they're probably posting about, hey, we need help. This is what we need from the community. And if you're able to see their posts right in that single news feed, that gives you the opportunity to share it onto your page. It also gives you the opportunity when you're sharing posts from other business page as your business page, so not your personal, but as your business, that increases visibility about your business to that business. So now they're gonna become more relevant right? You're going to become more relevant. And anybody that's commenting or engaging on that post is probably also someone that is in your community as well. So get engaged and like and comment on, on those posts also, because it just gives you an opportunity to become much more visible, your business much more visible, and you're nurturing. It's nonstop nurturing. And other things that you can do to stay in front of um, other businesses on platforms like Instagram or LinkedIn is um, same kind of strategy, but follow specific hashtags because hashtags are what's going to give you visibility into the post that they're doing. So think about what the hashtags might be of certain businesses. It's all about hashtags and Instagram, right? So search for those, follow their hashtags so that when you go into your newsfeed, you'll be able to see the posts that they're doing. Any hashtag that might be in your geographical pocket follow that hashtag. So you start to filter out the content that's coming up on your page. So it's just 
really relevant to your geographical area. So you can start to respond, you can start to share, because you can share on Instagram too. And just another opportunity for you to stay more connected with that. And the exact same thing with LinkedIn. They give you the opportunity to follow hashtags, click on hashtags, look at the posts that are relevant to those hashtags, and that'll give you another way of staying much more connected and visible. Because again, it's really not about us pushing content that's really all about us. It's really us finding out what is the need that the community has right now and provide creating content that will be of value to them, not necessarily all about us. And then really looking at what are the needs of the other other businesses that you can really start to nurture that relationship. Um, and then, you know, if you really start to become much more visible in front of all of those um, other businesses, then offer the opportunity to do a Zoom and go live on uh, Facebook with that. And maybe even reach out to your community and say, hey, you know, one of the things that I did is I reached out to all my clients and said, every Wednesday at noon mountain, I'm going to be on Zoom. You can show up. I don't know who's going to come, but let's just be there for each other because I just feel like we could all go a little cray cray right now. <laughs> <laughs> we need each other's support, you know, so maybe have a calendar set up, invite people to spend scheduled uh, time with you. Don't make it about business. Just say, hey, here's my calendar. If you want to schedule a connection. Call. Exactly. Let's just connect. Let's just find out how things are, how you're, how you're going. Your biggest asset is your relationships with your customers. Sure. And now more than ever is a time for you to really be back in front of them and making sure that they understand that regardless of what's happening in, you know, real estate or whatever, that you care about them and that you just want to open up the opportunity to, to say, Hey, I'm here. What do you need? You want me to bake you some brownies? <laughs> you know, I like, I really like that, Liz. I want to, I want to talk about this for a second because okay. it really gives me an idea about the, the uh, following the post and taking the online, this huge online presence, right? Mm -hmm. That we have the opportunity to have, but, but pulling it, if I'm hearing you right, you can pull it and sort of bring it into your own community. Mm -hmm. So like if you're filtering and, and following the businesses in your community, Mm -hmm. then you're also becoming more relevant in a, in a tighter space. We teach it all the time about farming. You know, it, it's easy for exactly. our minds. I'm the world's worst at it. Like we don't take over the world, right? The world's huge. Like, you know, we don't take, right. over, okay, let's take over Georgia. It's, Georgia's huge. We don't take over Atlanta. Atlanta's huge. Like we don't take over Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County's huge. Like we, we have to, you know, keep the ethereal thought, but we also have to sort of bring it down. Yeah. I teach about farming and how important it is to bring your farming area down to an area you can nurture. Mm -hmm. And now you're talking about social media ways and strategies to where you're being relevant to communities in your, or, or businesses in your community, which I think right. is fantastic. That's a, that's a super good spin on how to be relevant locally as well. I mean, we do want, a big online presence as business people, right? Mm -hmm. Because if people mm -hmm. are moving into our communities mm -hmm. from other communities. So right. we want that stretch, but it's easy to lose the fact that, mm -hmm. you know, if we're connected to the pest control company down here that also does a good job online, or if we're connected to the, the restaurants that also do a good job online, then mm -hmm. if we're relevant inside that smaller community as well as the online community. But I really Absolutely. love the idea using these tools to make yourself mm -hmm relevant in a smaller community, you're using a huge online presence to also cater to your smaller community, which is very important to us. Communities, yeah. we need them. Right, absolutely. And I mean, you know, it's such a logical approach for real estate agents, right? I mean, because we should, they, they should have always sort of been coming from that position, like you guys are saying anyways. That nurturing so, position. Right, it's not like, all of a sudden, you know, somebody who was a plumber is now all in, <laughs> like wants to get connected with every business. I mean, that right now it would make sense, but it really makes sense for the real estate professionals because as a successful real estate professional, you should have relationships and you should be nurturing those businesses in your backyard. But now my point is, let's just take an up a notch right? Mm -hmm. Let's just take it up a notch and continue to use these, the way that, that these tools 
uh, that I'm talking about be used today are really the way that they should be used consistently regardless of what our, our sure. situation is. But it gives us such a great opportunity. And I can guarantee you, if you're out there, agent, and you start doing these tips, your competition isn't. They're just not. That's yep. true. So it's opportunity. And, you know, it, it's, I, I love all the tips you brought to us today, um, Karen. And one of the things that I want to say is think long term. Don't just think in the now, right? So, for instance, if, you, if there is not, or even sometimes if there is and you have a different spin on it, if there isn't a Facebook group for your community featuring local businesses within your community, be spearhead that, start a Facebook group and right. start start recommending businesses in that Facebook group. Mm -hmm. And and that is just what, what, like you said, you start by like recommending them, do mm -hmm. a Facebook Live from the parking lot of your local independent restaurant because they're still open for takeout orders, right? Exactly. And then get them on a local Zoom and put that Zoom yeah. on your Facebook group and recommend people and have mm -hmm. them get on there and talk about their business and what makes them different and how they got started and why they had that idea in the first place how many of their family members are still in the business you know what do they do through and throughout the day as a family when they're not running the restaurant or running the shop or whatever they're yeah. doing it's all of those little connectors and I think that's just one of the ways that your brand can take authority over something exactly and it's something that's meaningful yeah. to the community and it and not, I'm telling you 10 times over, it will come back to you if you never say the words real estate in a post. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. your yeah. admin, the owner of the page, says everything. You can yeah. put your logo up in the cover photo, your contact exactly. information in the about info, and that is yeah. all you have to do That's if right. you're all about somebody else. Right. Yeah. Especially the restaurants. Like we, I noticed the other day there was a uh, um, in my feed, there was a, a post from a local restaurateur who has done really well in our community. Like, and when I say community, I mean like an, a surrounding f probably five county mm -hmm. uh, area. They started with one restaurant. Now I think they've got 14. Uh, we've actually sold them a building that, mm -hmm. that they put one of their restaurants in with my firm. And, and so I, we follow them, they show up all the time and uh, we saw this opportunity, Tanya and I actually saw it the other day and he had posted something, it was positive, it was about the, the situation we were in, but he's like, why are we not, you know, communicating a more positive, uh, you know, outcome to this situation? And as you can imagine, you're the social media uh, expert. So he gets this blam blast, you know, from certain people about how dangerous this situation is. And, and so many people turned it into an affront that they had put that. But then I noticed that there became this theme right after that with people uh, on all positive and everybody was talking positive about that restaurant. And so it was sort of like, if, yeah, so like the community came to his uh, defense and said, mm -hmm. hold on just a minute. And then it was, and I, even I put it on there. I put, you know, well, it's a gorgeous day outside. It's a perfect time to go get takeout from friends and, and go have a picnic in your front yard, you know? Right. And, then, and exactly. I wasn't even the first one to come up with that. Somebody else had said, I'm going to go get takeout from friends. Well, next thing you know, you see all of these posts, like hundreds of them. I'm going to go to friends. I'm going to get takeout from friends. And it sort of created a, you know, an online like movement, you know, to go to friends and take out, take out. And I called them today and tried to get them to answer the phone. And I called three times. They never did. And I hope it's because they're slammed with orders, you know. So it's sort of to what you're talking about is supporting those those local right. communities, uh, businesses that are in need of that right now. Yeah. People are drawn to positivity and they want it and they need it right now. There's enough negativity around the world eight times out there. Yeah. There's not yeah. enough positivity. And I think, you know, what, that's why I love where you come at the, you know, how you come at this, uh, the solution for all of this right now, Karen. Yeah. And, it, and to your point, it really is, um, there is no need to reference real estate, even in a, a good time, you know, it, it really isn't. The more that you can make the content that you put out on your social media platforms about the person you're trying to attract, the more you're going to attract them. I love so, it. And it, it mean, it's, this is kind of what I teach all the time, but I think now more than ever, we really need to be, you know, because you guys have heard me talk about the algorithm, right? I mean, that's, that's the big man behind the curtain. <laughs> and right. that algorithm is controlling everything. And the way that you get 
the feed the algorithm is showing the algorithm that you know how to post content that's going to add value to the community. And the way you post content that add value to the community is not by making it about real estate. It's making it all about what the community wants. And so as soon as you kind of start to understand that, that strategy is really, you know, because if you don't, you're never going to see return on your efforts using these types of platforms because the algorithm is like, look, if all you do is talk about yourself and you get no likes and comments and shares on your posts, I'm not showing your content to anybody because Facebook's number one priority is to make sure that it adds value to its community and it keeps the community happy. So if your content doesn't do that, you're not going to be seen. So you've got to completely flip it. But this, the first step, right, is going back to the beginning is what are the interests? You know, we talk about this all the time. Who's the niche, right? right, right. <laughs> you can't be everything to everybody. you got to figure out who is that niche. Who do you want to get in front of? And then find the content that's really going to be all about them and all about their interests. And so kind of keeping in alignment with that same strategy, now it's just an opportunity for you to just layer in the whole community on top of that. Because people, this is a very delicate, desperate time. And there's a lot of ways that we can be just sort of be, be, be that beacon that can sort of expose the light onto where the needs are in the, in your, in your community. So, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I know we're all like on the same, we always preach the same stuff, right? <laughs> I, know, I know. See, I was just about to say, you're our little beacon of sunshine over there. <laughs> oh, for sure. Thanks. At the beach. At the beach. <laughs> We, we love having you on, Karen. Oh, thanks. So, I love being on. Thank you. Well, it's just, you, it just goes right along with, you know, we, we believe that there's enough negativity in the world. Why can't you yeah. be a shining light? And because if we focus on negativity, guess what we'll get? You know? Negativity. And, yeah. Exactly. So, so is there uh, anything else you'd like to share? Any of your, like you have an offer to share with our audience and tell them how they need to, how they can reach you? Um, I do actually, I have been just during this time, I've been actually uh, offering my one hour strategy session. I normally charge $75 for that and I'm waiving that fee. So um, I can give you guys the link to that if you wanna provide that as well. Um, so that, that, you know, I think it's just an, a great opportunity for me to be able to kind of, you know, give, um, and help people to, can, we can take a look at your social media pages and I can give you some guidance and ways that you can really be kind of maximizing, uh, the use of these tools during this time. So yeah, I'd love to gift that to you guys and your, and your watchers and listeners. Hey folks, uh, you know, we're talking about prosperity on Be Bold Branding. We're not talking about just money. We're talking about the whole 360 of the abundant life. We know here that prosperity favors the bold. So be bold folks, especially with your brand. Thank you, Ms. Karen. And thank you, Ms. Tanya. Yes, thank, thank you, you guys so much. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time on Be Bold Thanks, Branding. Guys.